Well, today uh, <coughs> I'm gonna do the uh, the oil change of the uh, Rotex 914. Uh, I flew this summer about 50 hours, so it's time for its uh, 50 hour oil change. And um, the first thing I need to do is take the airplane uh, outside. Uh, then I can uh, I can start the engine and get the, uh, the the engine oil that is in now. I get a little bit warm and according to the manual then it would be uh, much more easy to uh, uh, change the oil so um, that's what I'm gonna do take the airplane out and uh, start the engine so as you can see the uh, the engine is running and uh, I got my readings here at the fly dead uh, temperature now is uh, 25 degrees Celsius. I got an oil pressure of 3.6 bars and I got a cylinder head temperature of 55 degrees. And here, as you can see, the temperature is uh, risen to 55 degrees and the cylinder head temperature is also over the 100 now. Um, for me um, that is enough um, to uh, have to warm up. So I'm gonna shut the engine off now and take the cowling off and change the oil. Okay, uh, the next thing um going to do is to replace the oil filter which is uh, located here and um, I'm gonna take the, um, the old uh, oil out of course and that's gonna be collected in this one. First I need to purge the... Okay this is all the... I need to uh, take out to get all the uh, oil out of the uh, oil reservoir which is here. Okay, the next thing uh, to do is to uh, remove the oil filter. Therefore, you need a, a special tool uh, that wraps around the, uh, the oil filter. And with some luck, you can unscrew the oil filter. I'm not sure if it's gonna work with one hand. It's already a little bit coming. But still difficult to hold the camera let's try again yes There's. maybe I can get it off my hand one more time with the tool yeah that's much easier Get the tool off. Drop it down. There's a lot of oil coming out. Take it off when I put something under it and put my camera to the side. So here I got the uh, oil filter back on. According to the manual, need to uh, make it tight 
and then I need to turn it uh, for uh, 3 4 270 degrees um, to get it uh, a good uh, for a good sealing so I don't think I can do that by hand so I need to put my uh, my tool on it and then I'm uh, uh, put it on a little bit more tight all right uh, this one is on what I'm gonna do for extra safety because I also saw that the uh, um, previous owner did it also. I see here a black um, uh, mark and it was also marked on the oil filter. So I'm gonna do that also with a, with a little bit of red. Um, well actually this is Loctite, doesn't matter. So. What it does is so it's now easy for me to check if the filter uh, stays on its place. Okay, now I'm going to put in um, the Aeroshell uh, piston engine oil Sport Plus 4, uh, especially uh, designed for the Rotex engine. And the manual says you have to pour in uh, 3 liters. So here we go. And the manual says I need to uh, rotate the propeller to get uh, all the oil uh, back into the system. So that's the next step. According to the uh, uh, manual of Rotex uh, maintenance, it states uh, after you replace the, um, the oil filter, you have to open the old oil filter to check um, the, the filter for um, contamination or particles or um, everything that shouldn't be in uh, engine oil. Um, only the problem is that it is a very, very, very hard job to open this uh, old oil filter. So I, I opened it with my uh, tool, my Dremel, um, to cut through the iron, but that is of course not a very good idea because during that process um, already iron particles are coming into the filter, so what I did was not a very very good idea. Uh, I also tried to open it with a can opener, but it didn't succeed. Uh, and because this is my first time, I really want to open it to, to see uh, um, how it looked inside and even when I got it open it still got uh, a lot of other stuff that makes it very rigid and you really have to ruin everything to see if there's something in but during that process everything every particle that you find on it you can ask yourself is it something that was in the engine oil or is it something that I put on uh, with getting this thing apart so be aware of that 